things continue to spiral downwards. There have been mass demonstrations in many major cities across the world. It seems like this crisis has affected everyone. Even China, who everyone thought would be immune because of their vast currency reserves. It turns out that these vast currency reserves are not worth much if all the currencies in the world have collapsed. The entire planet seemed to try to get out of the economic crash by simply printing more money. Now all of these bills are simply worthless pieces of paper. No one will accept cash for anything. Suddenly, the power goes out and we search frantically for candles to light up the dark night. If I thought things were bad before, they have just gone from bad to worse. The National Guard has been called out in many states, but since this crisis is everywhere, they are nowhere near enough troops. The problem is aggravated by the fact that so many of the Guard are away fighting in foreign wars. The power has been out all night, and even though we have gas heat, it still requires electricity to run the circulation pumps. We have had no heat all night, and the house temperature is near freezing. I am afraid of the pipes freezing. I make sure that the water faucets run slowly to keep the pipes from freezing up. We turn on the gas stove to provide the house with some heat. Lucky, the gas stove does not require power to keep running. I will have to drain the radiator pipes to keep them from freezing. I find a propane bottle and heater that I use to heat the garage and will use it to supplement the heat from the stove in the home. I also locate a transistor radio and thank my lucky stars that I had some extra batteries. Without power, this radio is now the only source of news we have, and most of it seems to be bad news. The authorities have no idea when power will be restored. We are all very hungry now, and there is very little food in the house. I really wish that I had some foresight and stockpiled some food. What I would not give now to have a generator. Why did I not plan better when things were good instead of wasting my time in useless activities? I should have saved some silver coins and not sold that old gold jewelry which now has real value instead of these worthless pieces of printed paper. My neighbor tells me that you can still get some supplies by using barter if you have something someone needs. Some valuable items include batteries, generators, gasoline, propane, alcohol, firewood, lamp oil, candles, baby supplies, and of course, food. Cash is now totally worthless. I am reminded of pictures from the Weimar Republic in Germany where people were burning large wads of cash to keep warm. There is no longer any gas pressure, and the stove no longer works to heat the house. The propane bottle and heater is out of fuel also. We are now without heat. It appears some of our neighbors have planned ahead, and they have offered us some of their food in exchange for us keeping an eye out for them. A sort of neighborhood watch has sprung up, but you can sense the level of fear is growing. Power is still out. We spend most of our daylight hours in the sunroom since the solar heat keeps this room a lot warmer than the rest of the house during daylight hours. However, at night, it is really chilly. I go to get some water, and now there is no water pressure. The news tells us that because of the power outages, the pumps that fill the towers to create water pressure can no longer fill them. This problem was compounded by all of the people like me that were running their water slowly to keep the pipes from freezing. The radio weather report calls for near freezing temperatures tonight. We 
are using the water in the hot water heater for our drinking water. I thank our good luck that the temperatures inside the house have stayed above freezing, or I am not sure what we would have done for drinking water. We have set up our downspouts to catch thawing snow in a bucket. Man, I wish I had a large rain barrel at every downspout in the house. The news is telling us that many police officers have stayed home to protect their families and that some areas have hired private security firms to patrol the streets. These thugs are actually patrolling neighborhoods and confiscating weapons from law-abiding citizens. Our neighborhood has called for a meeting today to discuss expanding our neighborhood watch by joining a watch in an adjacent neighborhood to protect ourselves from these outsiders. Many of our neighbors now carry guns when they leave their homes. The news tells us that government is essentially failing at all levels. This is Trevor Jones, bringing you the national and international news. The situation across the nation is deteriorating rapidly. Large sections of the country are with no running water. There are shortages of food and fuel, and most people have no electrical power. Many stores are closed, and we have reports from several large cities of armed gangs roaming the streets looking for water, food, fuel, and anything else of value. There have been riots in many of the major cities across the world. This crisis appears to have created a total breakdown of social order across the globe. Today, the president has declared martial law. 